Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajni Khan and this is the continuation of IntelliJ IDEA with Git series, right? So in earlier video, we have seen how to uh, clone or how to take that uh, project from remote repository to IntelliJ IDEA, right? So if you have not seen that one, uh, I will give that link in the description section. You can watch that video as well, right? So in today's video, we'll see how we can commit changes to our repository and we'll post those changes to remote repository, right? So we'll explore in details, right? So let's open IntelliJ IDEA first. Okay, so here is this IntelliJ IDEA. So already uh, in last video, we, uh, we have seen how to import this project from uh, GitHub. Right, so in company you may uh, they may assign a GitLab or uh, sorry uh, what is that Bitbucket some repo and you can do the same way. Right, so in today's section or today's video we're gonna see how we can commit changes. Right, so first just see uh, we need to uh, we need to have this is a, just see this is something uh, terminal is there. Right, so like this we need to take that. Uh, BCS details or github uh, what you can say this one some tab or some kind of thing that one we need to uh, we need to first put it here you can see my mouse cursor here so if you see here this search bar right so click this one and search git oh it's git not get it's a version control or something version control right let's see alt plus 9 this is that version control uh, this is a quick tab right so first you need to search from here version control quick tab right this quick tab will help us to perform different kinds of operation right okay so uh, first we need to change some file then we need to commit right so currently uh, I am clicking this version control and if you see here some uh, tabs are there local changes log these are the changes right so local changes and log these are the two tabs in log uh, this log section I will explain later and this local changes so if you will change something uh, in the file or if you are modified something those files will be appear here in this tab local changes right so for example uh, this is load custom yml application dot java right okay sdk is not defined let's set up this sdk uh, java it, these are the default things i guess then okay so uh, this thing is done right so uh, let's change something here if you see system.out.println something is there I am copying this statement and putting over here right just see local changes this load custom yml application application.java it appears over here right so anything any file you have changed it will appear over here in local changes this tab right suppose if you want to see what are the changes local changes just click this local changes tab and you will see all those files for example suppose uh, yml reader controller right so here let me have some sysout system dot out dot println right and let's give here controller okay just see it's appear over here right yml reader controller dot java okay so uh, this is this part is done so these are the local changes appear over here if you want to see what are the changes right earlier what is that uh, what are the difference between uh, before changes and after changes just right click that one and here if you see 
sort diff right click that one and you can see what is the difference or wh what are the what changes you have done in your files right this way you can verify your changes as well this is pretty simple right click and sort diff right so hope you got a clear picture uh, where we'll see all those change changed files or whatever that files you have changed where we'll gonna see all right so here and if you want to commit now we have changed our files right now we'll commit those files if you want to commit all those files just select like this all those files select and right click over here and commit right commit if you want to commit a single file just right click to that particular single file or select that particular single file and right click and commit right so let's commit both those both the files uh, now and we're gonna see right click and commit commit means it will commit to your local repository right so let's have some uh, commit messages ideally in company uh, that this commit message also some standards will be there right uh, you need to have uh, something like some uh, story name or story uh, story means user story uh, that task that task name then column then your number uh, in company you will have some standard right commit message standard so whatever that story you have that story name or that story number or that issue number that is suppose i have uh issue um, three four five six three four five six colon or that name suppose three four five six some name will be there us even i mean user story announcement colon then commit message so and ideally some standards will be there in company if you are not following this standard then your commit uh, you you will not you will not you will be not able to commit it will gonna fail right but this is not mandatory some companies uh, have these standards right so let's have our commit message we do not have any standard uh, let's uh, simple committing example is there swelling c o m c o m m i t right commit test commit okay let's push this test commit okay so simple here lot of options are there like uh, perform i mean reformat that code rearrange code optimize import right so before committing if you want to uh, if you want to do these things or perform these things in your file then you can check these things as well pretty simple and again here also you can see uh, those changes what are the changes in that file and uh, in that commit uh, window here in this window you can able to see what are those files you are going to commit and over here if you click here those changes you you can able to see if you want to see you'll be able to see those changes right like this right hope you got a clear idea now if you see here this commit uh what is this one this uh, what is this? this button this commit button right simple hit this commit button and it will commit right if you want to commit and push just see this drop down commit and push so fast it will commit then automatically it will push right so this is one option commit and push at a time another way simple commit and later push right so first let's see this option commit and later first will commit and separately again will push this is one way or else directly commit and push is there right let's pop on this one commit so commit over here okay once you have committed so changes will be removed from local changes right now it's now it's committed okay but in the repository it will not be able to reflect in the repository it will not be able to reflect just see it's four months ago these are these are committed right now if you want to commit how will gonna commit so here vcs so here vcs and come uh, it's already we have committed right now we'll 
pus so here uh, git and here push or control shift k also you can hit so let's push this push those changes so here force push also there force push is disabled now so let's push those changes okay just see it's pushing those changes to our remote repository okay push successful right origin master now let's see those changes over here oops why it's not able to reflect Achha, this is one minute ago if you see this commit this commit message test commit one minute ago right this file it's got changed and here if you'll see those uh, system system dot out dot println right these are the changes recently we have done okay so hope you got a clear picture that how we'll gonna commit if you see here those commits you can see those commits as well test commit recently we have done two minutes ago right so hope you got a clear picture that how you will change those files in your IntelliJ idea and how you will uh, commit those changes and how you will push those changes using IntelliJ idea right those are pretty much simple and uh, if you compare those uh, command line uh, command line uh, what that those commands this is pretty simple you no need to remember any command directly uh, you can perform those operations right okay so in next video we'll gonna see uh what adding new files and commit right so here in this video we have seen how to add uh changes to existing file and commit those existing file right so in next video we'll see how to add a new file and commit and push to that remote repository right hope you got a clear picture right uh, then do have your valuable comments in the comment section which will keep motivated me to upload some more videos like this and hit a like to this uh, uh, tutorial if you are really like this uh, uh, like this one and yes if you are not subscribed yet my channel please do subscribe my channel as well right so thank you for watching